Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'll show you the new method how you can jailbreak your device using bootrain that is called a checkrain on your device. You can download Cydia on your device and you can use tweaks. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by Tenorshare. Tenorshare for your key to unlock disable iPhone without using iTunes. It unlocks iPhone, Apple ID and lock screen. You can get Tenorshare for your key software on Mac and Windows. Check out the website link in the description below. Okay, you guys can visit my website. There is a jailbreak section. You can see there are articles about checkrain, uncover. There is an iPhone jailbreak status checker for iOS 14 and iOS 13.5.1 and 13.6. I'll keep updating those. By visiting these articles, you will get to know current version having jailbreak or not, and you um, which version you should stay or not. So if you head over to checkrain jailbreak for iOS from you know iOS 13 to 13.6 right now so yes you can jailbreak with the check rain so as you can see that green yes over there so you will get to know if it is red uh, red color means no and you can't jailbreak so right now it is you can jailbreak 13.6 and as you can see there is a compatibility devices now coming to the com compatibility uh, you can jailbreak fires to iphone 10 with the check rain you can't jailbreak ios 11 xr and xs series and there is a 2018 and a current version ipad you can't jailbreak with the check rain so below version you can jailbreak you should visit this website and you will get all the link uh, in the description so let's get started to the check rain jailbreak talking about the requirement you need a windows computer and one usb drive which is having 2 gb and above 2 gb will work definitely now if you head over to this website i'll leave a link in the description so you have to go to this website github.com and as you can see bootrain linux uh, checkrain method you will see a download bootrain 10.2.2 version so there, there you have live cd and you have a right bootrain to usb choose a 32 bit or 62 bit so i have a 64 bit computer now i'm going to click on 64 bit and go ahead and save target there we go just choose your path where you want to save this iso file so i'm going to select desktop and there we go as you can see i already downloaded this iso file for time being so you can save this wherever you want to save means we need this iso file later so once you've done that you have to go to the rufus uh, link click on it and i'll open in the next window it has a separate site and there we go you we are on rufu's website official website so if you scroll down you can see download button for rufu's and this is totally free and initial version so go ahead and save it wherever you want to save save as i'm going to save on desktop there we go i already download rufu's too so go ahead and download this and save it on your uh, wherever you want to save so once you've done that just we are done with this uh, web browser now just go to desktop means make sure you copy those on the desktop so it's easy to read and as you can see both the files are available on my desktop now i'll show you just use your pen drive i have a 16 gb pen drive just make sure you have 2 gb and above and go ahead and connect your pen drive to the windows computer now once you connected go to this pc and you can check there we go we have i have a toshiba pen drive and i'm going to clean this so make sure you format it now go to the rufus right click run as administrator you will have this window pop up so do you want to update online so i'm going to say no i don't want to update it online and now you have this window drive properties so we need to select iso file okay so which we earlier downloaded now as you can see just click on select we don't need to do any setting here just simply select and now give it a path give it a path we have it uh, saved on desktop go to the desktop and select that boot train iso file so there we go as you can see it has taken all everything automatically we don't need to do anything here just click on start now when you have this window say yes and it will it will it is going to download anything uh, anything it required the file required and write iso image on uh, 
uh, which is recommended just go ahead and select it and say okay if any warning comes doesn't matter just say okay and there we go it is deleting all the files uh, previously existed on the pen drive and now once it is format it will you know mount that iso on this pen drive so as you can see copying iso files it's gonna take some time so i'll speed up this process as you can see uh, it is ready it takes around one minutes now we are done with that uh, let me check once we go to this pc and i'll check that as you can see 14 gb is free that means it is less than 2 gb taking uh, data so make sure you have that so we are done with the rufus and we mount that cd now restart your device and while restarting make sure you type uh, escape button so as you can see i have a hp laptop and i when i press escape i will have the startup menu so you have this option make sure you select f9 to boot device uh, option so select f9 it depends on your computer okay you, you can find out on the google what command you need to press to enter into the startup menu and bootable menu so for me on hp i have f9 to bootable device option so click on that my pen drive name is Toshiba. and make sure you connect it to your device whichever device you want to generate and make sure you turn on turn off password provide your password and make sure you turn off that for safe precaution so don't worry about it. it it is not going to delete anything from your device and it is not corrupting your device now once we are ready with that hit on your pen drive name mine is toshiba and now we are in a boot train menu here we have four options usb safe graphic safe normal and ram so go ahead and select on usb safe we don't need graphic on ram so we are going to select on usb safe once you hit on it and this will run automatically the process will run automatically it's gonna take few seconds after few seconds you will see a login prompt follow the instruction what i shown on the display uh, login in as anon a n o n once you've done that hit enter and provide a void linux password once you see that dollar symbol uh, at the dollar prompt enter sudo checkrin you don't need to type those in brackets so just type sudo checkrin as you can see on the display once you've done that hit enter and boom you can see the check and prompt on the windows so as you can see i am on ios 13.5 but it definitely works on ios 13.5.1 and 13.6 which is the latest version as you can see i'm running on 13.5 to be honest it works on 13.6 uh, it doesn't matter whatever version you're on check rent you can jailbreak any ios version so now focus on the window when you are when you are on 13.6 and it shows untrust unsupported so you have to go to the option uh, for me it's showing supported you have to go to the option when you see allow untested ios ipad uh, tvos version so you have to click that if it shows unsupported now once you done that it will start supporting for you so click on start then you will have this window the device will need to put into dfm mode apply to apply jailbreak this is a normal process will take some time there we go you just connect your device and now device will enter into the dfm mode automatically if it is not remove the cable and while you are plugging cable uh, keep holding that home button then you will be entering uh, enter into the dfm mode manually so but it is it will definitely take you automatically so now as you can see i'm in the dfm mode click next and there we go we have this window now follow the instruction most of the people struggle here only the device i'm using this instruction has been shown for you also say same it will show different uh, if you are using iphone 7 and above it will be showing different instruction so we have we have that instruction so now as you can see uh, if i uh, press top power button and home button at the same time and let go the power button and keep holding 10 second home button then it will work for me uh, and there is an instruction by the way now let's focus on the screen keep holding power power button and home button at the same time let go the power button after four seconds and keep holding home button for the 10 second so once the 10 second has been over let go the home button and as you can see the check run should run on the device and boom there we go we can see check run is running on the device that's the moment guys we got check run 
finally here so now the device is rebooting and there we go just go to the device now we are done definitely done with the computer i'll get back to you what we need to do for the computer after this so now as you can see checkrin has been installed on the device it takes some few seconds to install the checkrin so don't panic about it uh, let it install automatically so as you can see the checkrin has been installed now go to the checkrin app and you will see loading something that is uh, yeah that is cdia now click on cdia and hit install cdia you can see something downloading base system it it is gonna take two minutes around uh, and uh, i speed up the process and now you can see downloading cdia so once the cdia has been downloaded it will pop up on the home screen so there we go guys we just got cdia and we are happily jailbroken with the check ring okay guys i'll show you after some time how to install twix so first of all we need to exit from this window so for that when you see the dollar symbol you have to type sudo space shutdown and dash type r and space and say now so once you hit enter the device will restart if you want to shut down your device so for shutdown uh, when you see that dollar symbol type sudo space shutdown space minus h space now and then um, hit install so once you done that it will shut down your device so now as you can see i have um, restarted my device now go ahead and click on cdia open it it will take some time to load all the re uh, sources repos uh, pre-installed repos there, uh, there is a big boss repo it will take some time update primary things so let me show you for example one tweak to download um, gesture 13 which is iphone 10 I mean by installing this tweak we can run iphone x gesture feature on iphone 8 and below devices now click on confirm now as you can see the tweak has started installing so once the tweak is installed restart the spring and now we are on the home screen now once you went to the home screen as you can see we just got iphone x gesture on the iphone sc iphone 8 below devices is that is amazing guys so that's a tweak one of my favorite okay guys that's it for this video if you are still here and watching this video make sure to subscribe my channel and hit that bell icon to get notified follow me on twitter and instagram i'll leave a link in the description go ahead and check my website and you will get all those links in the description so i'll catch you in the next video this is shivam signing off and it's always peace